It is? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would tend to think so. Uh, can you repeat the question? Looking very deeply. No, yes, yeah, maybe. It's no. But it's not a test, right? <laughs> Which tribe protects our customers, bank and the society from financial crime? AML review tribe. Is there not uh, AML too? AML review tribe. And quite a few things uh, fall under AML, so that's why. Pretty good umbrella tribe, I would say. We protect our customers, the bank and society from financial crime by developing highly automated AML due diligence process to ensure regulatory compliance. Which tribe takes care of markets platform stability? Markets front office tribe? Markets front office. Do you know what the markets platform is? It's where our corporates and private clients can uh, trade financial instruments. It is a platform where you monitor the market and you can uh, see what, I don't know. <laughs> our tribe are taking care of uh, markets platform applications. We ensure that our daily work and applications platforms are running smoothly for our Danske traders and we seek for the trading stabilization and optimizations. Which tribe collaborates with other tribes by helping them build modern APIs? API adoption tribe. I would go for API adoption also. Do you maybe know what an API is in general? I know, but I don't want to explain not to look silly, you know, in front of tech people. <laughs> API is application programmer's interface. So what it means is you create something and someone consumes that information or someone utilizes that information on their own platform. So it's, uh, it's like a reusable thing that anyone can use, build, uh, just pull data from somewhere, work with it. So an API you can think of like a menu at a restaurant. So instead of the food, it actually describes the data that your area can serve to its customers. And as for our tribe, well, we actually try to help other tribes make their API as great as they can be and uh, build them according to all the best practices. Which tribe then enables our Nordic customers to get loans and leasing for their purchases? Asset financing? I would say asset financing tribe. Mm, of course, that should be asset financing. That's an asset and someone is financing it, so guess. So our tribe is creating digital products and automated processes for asset financing across Nordics. This includes leasing and higher purchase products. A number of processes starting from sales preparation until the end of agreement are supported by the systems within our area. In essence, we aim to create a better digitalized customer experience. Which tribe is working on the Cobra project? Cobra sounds techish, so I would say API adoption. Cobra 11, the police one, no? Sounds like a snake, so... I go for markets. It sounds like fighting with someone. <laughs> Cobra, abbreviation meaning customer onboarding and business review area, is our huge in-house built AML application. It helps uh, to identify potential illegal activities by our customers. Currently it's being uh, extended with uh, much more functionality, moved to target architecture, which is much more advanced and also rebranded to FinCrime Cosmos. That's why we're constantly looking for .NET developers to help us move forward. Which tribe's logo includes a crane, car, tractor, and a wind turbine? So asset financing tribe? All of those sounds like assets? So many things in one logo. It's gonna be again API adoption architecture tribe. No, no, I'll change my answer. People finance tractors, tractors are very expensive at least a million krona. So we're gonna go with asset financing tribe. Simply put, um, our tribe's end customer is a private person or a company buying a car and seeking for financing. Instead of the car, the asset could be some expensive heavy equipment like cranes, tractors and other. Which tribe symbol is an owl? Owl... Mm. I didn't even know tribes have symbols. What is our tribe symbol actually? Maybe AML review tribe? Oh, definitely, I can guess that. That should be, that should be AML. Why do you think so? Well, because uh, the owl bird, the head can turn, like very weird angle, so. They're just looking very deeply into money laundering. <laughs> I think no one actually knows 
I think owls have big eyes, the same way as we do. So it's like we are watching you, so we see everything. And which tribe has implemented the MIFID 2 project? Oh, Market's uh, front. No, it's ML Review tribe. No, it's Market's front office tribe. Final answer. I have read somewhere what it's about. It's it's uh, regulation in European Union, something with the uh, markets, isn't it? <laughs> MIFID 2 regulation was uh, put in the force on the 1st of January 2018. And the main idea was of this to make sure that our clients see transparent information of the costs that are put together with the investments. Which tribe develops solutions based on domain-driven design? Uh, maybe API? API adoption. I know this tribe works a lot around designs. That should be API. API adoption tribe. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. It's a way of designing a system so that it actually it is both easy to understand, both for the business side and for the IT side. Its core principles are using the same language that the business people use in designing the system. The reason we find it useful is because instead of having something that just works and no one really knows why, because the person who made it left the bank a long time ago, we have something that you can pick up and read quite easily because it's written in a way that's easy to understand for anyone.